What's up guys, you are welcome to Danamcom TV, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrities and material stories. We have another trading news for you today, and the headline here is, 74 United Nations General Meeting, IPOP reviews why it will protest against Buhari in New York. Alright guys, before I go ahead to read today's news to you, if this is your first time you are watching on our channel, please there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button and then click on the bell icon beside it so as to be the first to be notified whenever we publish news in the future on this channel without missing anyone again. Now the news in detail. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has vowed to protest against President Muhammad Buhari and his government during the 74 United Nations General Assembly in the United States this week. According to the pro-Biafran group, the essence of the protest was to stand against the continual onslaught, arrest, and secret adoption of its members by agents alleged sponsored by the federal government of Nigeria. The IPOB also stated that the protest will serve to prove to the entire world its resoluteness and determination to achieve an independent state of Biafra, free from impunity, corruption, poverty, and human rights abuses. Recall that President Buhari, in the company of no fewer than three governors and seven ministers, yesterday departed Abuja for New York City to represent Nigeria at the 74 Global Meeting of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Reacting in an executive interview chat with Daily Post, Comrade Imapo Afo, the publicity secretary for IPOP said, our members in the US are on ground waiting for Buharia to appear in the United Nations General Assembly this week. The General Assembly is scheduled to start holding deliberation from 25th of September 2019 in the city of New York, United States. Our people in the U.S. must make every arrangement necessary to protect against Buhari and his government in Nigeria during his oncoming summit to prove our resoluteness and determination for the coming Biafran nation. The world leaders must understand why they must support outright freedom of Biafran people from Nigeria without much delay again. Buhari and his Fulani government cabals in Nigeria have totally destroyed this country and we must let the world know what exactly is going on and what Nigeria has become. IPOP is going to stage a powerful protest against him in US for the purpose of standing against the continuous and killing killing, the continuous killing, arrest, and secret adoption of Biafrans, both men, women, and in every broad range to stop IPOP from demanding their rights for free state of Biafran nation. The whole world will see Biafra right in front of UN headquarters in New York, United States. He added that IPOP, IPOP's case on the alleged human rights abuses against its members was already before various specialized UN agencies and working groups. According to him, the recent press release on Nigeria is one such example. You can see that only the press statement has 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 Ratol Asorok and Fulani Kabas in the villa. Our meeting with UN officials last week were frankly and forthrightly. 
if there were doubts before, if there were doubt before in their minds that Nigeria is one almighty calamity. The feelings we got after our discussion is that they now have a proper appreciation and deeper understanding of how irredeemable, hopeless the case for one Nigeria has become in light of the reign of impunity, poverty, repression, unscheduled corruption, and collapse of the legal system of Nigerian government. The well martial case for Biafran self-determination by our leader and prophet of our time, Maazi Namdekanu, was all too apparent for them to see and persuasively argued to their understanding that IPOP will not relent or IPOP will not retreat nor relent in the pursuit for freedom and liberation of Biafran people. The IPOP spokesman insisted that the group will only intensify, the, intensify its efforts to bring about the total collapse of the Nigerian government. He said, high level of police and army brutality against innocent and unarmed citizens of Biafra and absent of a compromised judiciary makes Nigeria a promised candidate for implos in the not distant future. We must protest against Buharia and his collaborators at the 74 United Nations General Assembly in New York City this week. IPOP must protest, said the spokesman. All right, guys, in my own opinion, you have heard what the uh, Emapuafo stated that the group member of IPOP must protest on ground at the United Nations General Meeting, where Buhara will, will be, uh, where Buhara was invited to represent and stand for Nigerians. All right, guys, in my own opinion, I think IPOP group is making a good move for its actualization of the freedom and liberation of its members all across the globe. This time around, the statement is not to arrest Buharia, but to protest against the Nigerian government, led by Buharia at the UN Grand. It is a good effort, if you ask me, for the world to hear and understand exactly what is going on in, the, in Nigeria and the suffering the people are going through, the killings and injustice that is being made to the people of Nigeria, not only the IPOP members, but the whole Nigeria, there is a lot of suffering, a lot of injustice from the judiciary, executive arms of government, bribery and corruption, infidelities. Mostly the IPOP group is the only group strong and fighting the government of Nigeria. Now, the suffering of Nigerians at large, you have your, everybody have his or her own right to make your opinions. All right, guys, before you go, it is very important that you share your own view on this point. Meanwhile, do not forget to hit on the red subscribe buttons and then click on the bell icon beside it so as to be the first to be notified whenever we publish news on this channel, Dynamicom TV. Thank you.